Okay, real quick, I'm going to show you Saturn as it came out of Registax 6 with the channel alignment. You can see we have some good detail here to begin with, but the image I sent yesterday wasn't just from Registax 6. I took this image and I opened it up in Neat Image. And I used Neat Image not for necessarily for its noise reduction capabilities, but for its sharpening capabilities. So I'll show you basically what I did. I actually saved this, the uh, settings that I used yesterday. With Neat Image, you select a device no noise profile. You can auto profile it. There, it's giving a premium profile, selecting an area where it thinks it's noisy, which is just in a black space, which is fine because I'm not really worried about noise reduction too much. I'm going to use some noise reduction settings uh, in here. I can make this very small. I could actually select part of the image. It had no noise in it, but there's a lot of little details here. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as, at black right now. You can see this is what it's doing for noise reduction, which isn't much. I'm going to load yesterday's noise reduction that I used on the Saturn image, and I just open up the profiles, uh, but I have to do that from uh, the noise filter settings tab being selected. Let me come over here and select uh, Saturn. You can see I saved it with the uh, name of the power. I, I used a different one for higher power. And this is what I did yesterday. Basically, my goal was, let me zoom in, I'll show you what it basically what it's doing. Why well, I like neat image. And what I want to get out of it. Basically, it's adding some detail, sharpening some. It's adding some detail here. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm sharpening. There's a variety of sharpening options down here. I'm, usually you would only sharpen with the uh, Y chrominance, you wouldn't use like the red or the blue. But in this case, since astronomy images have detail uh, further images in a uh, color image from a one-shot color camera, there's there's additional detail in all color channels. I'm using the color channels this time, and uh, I'm not using conservative, I'm using heavy sharpening because it seemed to work fairly well for me. I also like to zoom in, obviously. Uh, to see what the results are, to see what's happening with the sharpening. So that's what I did to sharpen it a bit to get more detail. Usually doesn't add very many artifacts. As you can see, this is without the artifacts or without the sharpening, and that's with sharpening. So it actually added some uh, detail there. And when I zoom back out to uh, 100%, it's a pretty good image. I also wanted to brighten up the colors a bit, so these settings seem to work that way. So that's basically what I used. Obviously, you can vary these sliders around. When, when you're happy, you save it, and then you can use it again on a, you know, or have a, a starting point, which might work pretty well. So that's what I did. Um, you know, basically, I could go in, you know, change my, I could move the device noise profile, you know, even over here. It's not going to affect the image that much. It's not going to matter much because this isn't really getting out, detecting a lot of noise. So. Uh, doesn't make much of a difference. Let's go to noise filter settings to see the difference here. It's still giving me a pretty good image. So that's what I did. Then I would save it, up with the image as a TIFF, and what it does is it takes your image and it puts filtered on the end of it in the name. And if I want to save this now, it's going to try to overwrite the other one. And if I save it as a TIFF, it's going to overwrite the TIFF. I save it as a TIFF. It's going to try to overwrite yesterday's, which I don't want to do. So that's it. Neat image. I really like it a lot.